Hi everybody, welcome and thank you for coming, but mostly thank you for supporting the Carbondale Foundation. We're glad that you're here and generous people like you and many others are what keep the foundation able to support and finance and benefit the students at CCHS. Tonight we're here to honor and uh, support the honorees for the Hall of Service and the Hall of Achievement. Their uh, stories are magnificent and we're grateful for each and every one of them. So again, enjoy the evening. Thank you and go Terriers. Good evening everyone and welcome to the CCHS Educational Foundation 2023 Gala. I say 2023 with a little emphasis because this is supposed to be happening in 2020, but of course we got coded out, had to cancel, tried 2021, same thing, coded it out again. So we decided we'd probably skip a year and kind of smash our classes together um, and bring it all here in 2023 and it's looking real good. My name is Marty Dash. I'm a 1983 grad, go dogs, of CCHS, of course. Um, I must have missed a meeting last year because I'm now the vice chair of the Educational Foundation Board. When people hear of our board um, and they think Educational Foundation means scholarships, that's not necessarily what we do. Uh, we do have some scholarships, but really our charge is to provide assistance to teachers and administrators who will fill out a form and ask for a grant from our board and we will try to help them fill the gap um, in their budgets so they can do that extra mile that they need to help CCHS be a better learning environment for all of our kids. Uh, our most recent gap filler was our library uh, that has been here obviously since the, since the uh, building was erected has furniture that's been there since the building was erected. And we needed new furniture, it's over 20 years old. Uh, the request was made to the foundation to help to fill that gap to buy quality furniture uh, and all of it. So I don't know if it's all been purchased yet, but if you have a chance to get into the library once this furniture goes in, you ought to go take a look at it. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, this is not a high paying job being on the foundation board. Uh, in fact, we have no salaries at all whatsoever, no wages. Every dollar that is given to the board is another dollar that is used for the betterment of CCHS students. Um, so with that said, uh, there's raffle tickets that are going around tonight. Uh, please buy the raffle tickets. Every dollar we get from a raffle ticket is another dollar that goes to the betterment of CCHS students. Uh, there's also envelopes on your tables. Um, if you have uh, the inclination, please feel free to uh, drop a donation into those envelopes and I'm sure there's a bowl in the back that you can drop it in but again every dollar that we collect gets used one of the real neat things we get to do here on the board uh, is have a night like this uh, where we recognize the uh, contributions and achievements of our alumni our administrators and teachers uh, we have a hall of achievement and a hall of service the hall of achievement is for a CCHS grad who has gone on afterwards and has made some kind of significant contribution or maybe an unusual contribution uh, outside of the school. Um, the Hall of Service doesn't have to be a grad. Uh, it's typically a teacher, an administrator, uh, anyone who has made significant contributions to CCHS, uh, not necessarily a student, um, but we're very proud to have this hall. And in fact, you can see the names of everyone uh, who is been previously inducted into the Hall of Achievement, the Hall of Service, um, outside in the hallways at CCHS. It's a, it's a nice little honorarium and I think it's super great. Lastly, I want to thank everybody who's here. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this. It's, it's good to see so many people in one room tonight uh, to honor the CCHS uh, Hall of Achievement and Hall of Service nominees and inductees for this year. Uh, certainly want to thank all my fellow board members who have worked diligently to make this happen over the last three years. And most of all, the committee, I'm not going to name names of the folks in the committee because I know I'll forget someone, but you know who you are and your contribution and the hours and hours and hours you've spent putting this together uh, deserves a full round of applause. I hope you get it at some point in time during this, the, this evening. Lastly, super shout out to our superintendent, uh, Mr. Daniel Booth. Uh, who I know uh, personally has spent an enormous amount of time, not only his normal duties as superintendent, but also making this a fantastic evening for everybody. So with that, Mr. Booth, take it away.